Hey everyone, this is Micah from Arc Studio, and I'm going to show you how you can outline your script in Arc Studio using Beats. And if you're struggling with your outline a little bit, stick around to the end of the video for some tips. So stories are made out of beats, just like walls are made out of bricks. Every time something happens in your story, that's a beat of your story. And when I say happens, I generally mean that something is changing. Uh, it could be a really big change, or it could be a small change. It could be an external change or an internal change, you know, like an emotional change. And if you add up all these beats together, again, you get your story. In Arc Studio, we represent beats with these digital index cards. That's why they're called beats in the app. Each beat represents one section of your story. You give it a title, and you write a synopsis. And this is what you plan on writing in this section of your script. These beats can be arranged in columns called acts, and you can add a new act just like that. And um, you can easily rename these to whatever you want. So you can call them acts or you can call them sections or sequences or parts or however you want to do it. All this is drag and drop. So you can rearrange uh, the beats by uh, dragging them around. And you can also rearrange the columns. Uh, by dragging them around. For each beat, you can also click on this little note icon and uh, open up a note for that beat, and it'll open up the note on the right. And this is a place where you can write more about what's going to happen in this section of your script. Um, you could free write there, or maybe write dialogue that you're planning on using, or work out some story problems that you're dealing with, whatever you want. When you're starting a new script and you first go to see the beats, this is what you'll see. And you can either start from scratch by clicking add first beat, and then you can build out your structure here. Or I'll delete this. And if you delete all your beats, you get back to this screen. You can choose a template. Um, these are uh, structural templates that you can use to help you outline whatever you're writing. So for instance, I can uh, choose uh, Sidfield's Paradigm. And you'll see it already has um, a, a, the structure laid out for me with these structure roles. And you can use this as a scaffolding to help um, develop your story. Uh, but remember, screenwriting is not a formula. It's an art. So don't feel like you have to follow this template uh, exactly. It's a, it's a starting point for you as you're developing your story. When you want to write your script, it's really easy to reference your outline. Uh, you can just go to Script. And go over here to the sidebar and go to contents and you'll see all your beats listed. And if you just open it, you'll see the synopsis you wrote for the beat. You can do the same thing by clicking on the little beat icon uh, in the left margin of your script. If you've created a note on that beat, you'll see the little note icon here. So you can also the note, uh, open the note right here so you can reference your note and your, uh, your synopsis as you write. To write one of the beats, you just click it, and if you've tagged it with a location, it'll uh, suggest that, and do day, and then you just write your scene. Now you can have more than one scene in a beat. So if I go down here, do interior, parliament, that sounds fun, day, and keep writing, both this scene and this scene are part of that beat. So all the scenes you write up until the next beat will be part uh, of this beat. Now the scenes and the beat are linked together, which is pretty cool. So let's say I write, you know, this scene, uh, night, and I write the scene, but I decide I want to restructure um, my script, instead of having to cut and paste everything here, I can just move this beat. So I could do it on the beat board, or I can just grab the beat here. And for instance, I'm going to move it up one, and you see it jumped up there. So it's an easy way to rearrange your script. Same thing, you can go to the board. And if I move it uh, down to there, and then you can also jump directly to a beat by clicking open beat and script you'll see it moved back. So it's really easy to uh, rearrange your script when you're writing. So that's how you can outline your script in Arc Studio using beats. But how do you come up with those beats in the first place? If you're struggling a little bit to come up with your outline, here are a few tips you may find helpful. I mentioned earlier that beats are like bricks that you use to build your story. But what holds those beats together? Two words that you may find really helpful are but and therefore. 
Instead of saying one beat happens and then another beat happens and then another beat happens and then another beat happens, try using the words but and therefore. So one beat happens, but another beat happens, therefore this third beat happens. You're using the but to introduce complications. One thing happens, but something unexpected or a twist or something happens, some sort of complication happens, and that impacts things moving forward. So you can use but to introduce complications, and complications are good. And what's the result of the complication? One thing happens, but a second thing happens, therefore a third thing happens. So the complication is causing something to happen. That's how you introduce causality. So you use therefore when you're trying to introduce causality. A complication is causing something else to happen. So if you're stuck at a place in your story, try to think of some complication to what's going on and then think of the result of the complication. What does that get you? It'll be someplace more exciting and interesting than if you're just listing and then this happens and this happens and this happens. You can also let your characters guide your story by thinking about what they want, what their goal is, and having them actively pursue that goal. So if you're stuck, again, think, what would they do now to achieve that goal? And then you can put obstacles in their way, again, more complications, which causes conflict, because conflict is your friend. You want conflict. You want obstacles. You want other people or other things who are getting in their way. And if another character is getting in their way, remember, that doesn't mean that they're evil, right? It's not like they're a bad guy. We think of the antagonist or the bad guy in a script. An antagonist, an obstacle, doesn't have to be a bad person. It's just someone who wants something, you know, that's different than what your main character wants. So, for instance, your main character could be a teenager and they want to go to a party, but their parents don't want them to go. So now the parents are an obstacle. That doesn't make the parents evil. It just means they have different goals than the, the kid does. And then the teenager has to, you know, figure out how to overcome that obstacle. They sneak out, right? And then again, what, what does that cause? They go to the thing, they get in trouble, they get caught, something happens, right? So you're causing complications in your story. Another thing that can be really fun with coming up with story is figuring out whatever your character's button is, like the thing that gets them or annoys them or like is their thing, and just having another character like push that button. Whatever their thing is, have other characters that are there to push that character's button. And again, that's introducing more complications into your story. I'm not going to talk too much about dramatic structure because that would make this like a much longer multi-part uh, video. You can talk endlessly about dramatic structure. But one thing I do want to talk about is escalation. Whatever the thing that is happening in your script is escalate it. Have more of it. Have it be more intense. Have things escalating. That's really going to make your story more interesting and it's going to drive it forward until it reaches that climax, you know, where everything comes to a head. So again, if you're stuck in your script, think, how can I escalate this? How can I make it more intense, more complicated? All right, that's it for now. I hope this helped a little bit. Good luck outlining your script.